what is up guys with Carlos on here and today I'm gonna be starting a brand new series where, where I will be doing deck analysis videos for the XY on format now I know the current format is boundaries crossed on however I will be doing XY on in order to prepare for the next format which will take into effect I think after world I know after world championships obviously uh, I'm not sure exactly when it'll take into effect probably when ancient origins comes out I've heard an official date of like September 1st or 2nd but yeah, I'm just going to be going X, Y on. If you want to play this deck in the format currently, I mean, you, you can because there's not any cards that are in this video that are not in this format currently. Now, for the deck analysis video, I will be doing, because I'm Lucario san I will be doing a video on Lucario EX because I feel like it is the most appropriate thing to do for my first deck analysis video. So, for the list, we do have four Lucario EX. Lucario EX, as you can see, Pretty powerful attacker. We have 180 HP there. Missile Jab does 30. Not affected by weakness or resistance. Take that back. Only, not affected by resistance, which is really good. Going up against a Pumpkaboo, Rayquaza, Shaman, what have you. Don't have to worry about resistance there. And it does do a solid 30 damage for one energy. If that energy is a strong energy, we have a Muscle Band, a Fighting Stadium. We are now getting up to, what is that? Like... 90 damage on one energy that not 90 damage sorry 70 damage on one energy that's crazy we also have corkscrew smash for two fighting energy we have 60 and we get to pick cards until we have six in our hand that's pretty good we have i mean that's really good we have shaman ex which does the exact same thing but it's not in the form of the attack it's in the form of an ability and then we also have somersault kick for three fighting energy we do 100 damage that's pretty good now we have four Lucario EX because this is a Lucario deck. I would include include Landers EX from Boundaries Cross, but that will not be legal in the XY on format. Now, for the other Pokemon, I do have two Halucha. Halucha only has 70 HP. Its ability, damage from this Pokemon's attacks, aren't affected by weakness or resistance. That's kind of a double-edged sword because you have Pokemon like Rayquaza where you, where you don't want to worry about resistance. But then you have Pokemon like Magnetric, where you do want to worry about weakness because you will be doing that two times damage if you can get weakness, but you won't with this ability, which is a drawback. For one energy, we have Flying Press for 60. If your opponent's active Pokemon isn't an EX, it does nothing. Regardless of the effect, one Fighting Energy doing 60 damage is phenomenal. Like, that's insane. Back in base set, we had Hitmonchan doing 20 for one. Now we have 60 for one. I mean, that's just really good. I mean, combined with strong energy, all the fighting support we have now, that's really good. Now for the supporters, we have four Professor Sycamore. We have four Bursts Observations. Two Lysander. That should be the standard for XY on. I'm not exactly sure because not many people talk about it because that's not the format now. I believe this will be the standard, though, along with maybe a tech of one or two Ace Trainer from Ancient Origins. We also run four Karina because this is a fighting type deck. Search your deck for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. This is like Skyla, but like better. I, I don't, this, this is amazing. This is why more people should run fighting decks because we have Karina. I mean, Karina is just so powerful. You can search for any item card you want along with building up your bench with fighting Pokemon. We also have two team Flare Grunt. Now I decided to make this deck sort of a disruption based deck. Mainly because we have cards like Hypnotoxic Laser, Landers, EX taken out. I decided it would be a cool thing to do to make this more of a disruption deck. Which is also way, why we have a tech of 1 0 sick. Now for the items, we have 4 Ultra Ball, 3 VS Seeker, 4 Muscle Band. Pretty standard stuff. We also have for disruption, we have 4 Crushing Hammer. Let's see if we can get that to load up. Yeah, 4 Crushing Hammer. This will be legal in the XY on format. Because it is released in the Kalo starter set. So, Crushing Hammer. Flip a coin if had this card energy. I, I mean, pretty straightforward. It, it's really good, which is why we have four of them. We have two Enhanced Hammer because there's a lot of decks playing double col colorless energy. And strong energy. And other special energy like Wonder Energy. Whatever they're called. But yeah, we have uh, two Enhanced Hammer because of this. We also, for Disruption, we have one Sternly Megaphone. We have two Switch to help switch in those Lucario EXs. The Haluchas have Free Retreat, which is really helpful. We can just switch in the Halucha Retreat. It's kind of like a Russian Retreat from Keldeo EX from Boundaries Cross. But it's sort of limited because we don't have that ability and we have to rely on Switch. 
We also include one professor's letter. I've included one professor's letter because getting those two fighting energies is so crucial to power up Lucario EX and Halucha EX. For the stadiums, we have three fighting stadium, and we also have one Silent Lab. Now, Silent Lab is extremely useful because it blocks off all Shaman's abilities. In Ancient Origins, it will block Hoopa's ability, which searches for three EXs, which is, to put it simply, extremely absurd. So, which that's why we have one Silent Lab to block off all of those abilities. This will also block off A slash EX because we rely on strong energy so much. Yeah, this pretty much blocks off Aegis Slash's ability, allowing us to attack freely with strong energy. Speaking of energy, we do have 8 fighting energy and 2 strong energy. Now, that is it for the list. Uh, yeah, I it's pretty straightforward. Overall comments, you will be mulliganing a lot more often than you probably used to. Mainly due to having 6 basic Pokemon instead of, you know, at least 8. So, you will be having a mulligan, you know, more than more than often. Also, I didn't include Landorus from Furious Fist, mainly because most decks from this format, and I believe next format will be even worse, are just, like, insanely fast. They take off insanely fast. I mean, you can have a Mega Rayquaza Emerald Breaking turn 2 for 240 damage, which is why I think Landorus from Furious Fist is just going to slow this deck down. So, yeah, let's get right to the battle. Alright, looks like we are in the battle. Uh, as you can see in the left window, we did not mulligan. Yes, that is pretty rare for this deck, because I believe it's pretty often that we are going to mulligan. So, let's see. We have, for the Pokemon, we have Lucario and Halucha. Now, the ideal starter is Halucha, with, because you have free retreat. So, I guess we'll do that. We'll lead with Halucha. And then we'll have Lucario on the bench. Now because N is so popular and the boundaries cross on format, we do have to worry about our hand. We have to worry about, you know, if we want to conserve bench, if we want to conserve Pokemon from being laid down. We do have to worry about that because they could just end away. Now we have to, I mean, in the XY on format, we do not have to worry about that. Unfortunately, the XY on format isn't really official yet. That's why he just... Oh, he just discarded it. I was like, that's why I just played N. But no, he discarded it. And yeah, you in the next format, you won't really have to worry about, you know, someone discarding your hand or anything like that. And then... Oh, jeez. At first glance, I thought this was an Evil Tall deck. I saw the main trick. I was like, all right, Evil Tall main trick. And then the Genesect? What? It, okay, there's a... Apparently, there's a Genesect. That's... That's cool. He did use N. That's what I was talking about. We do need to be worried about N in this format. So let's see. Uh, I guess we will start off with the Crushing Hammer because why not? It flips tails. Of course, the luck is horrible. We will sternly megaphone that muscle band and a spirit link off. We'll put the Lucario down. We'll put a Halucha down. <clears throat> we'll put... I'm thinking about attacking with Halucha instead of retreating because of that ability. And... Okay, his ability of choice is Rough Seas. Oh, okay, I, I would expect like a sh Shadow Circle or something. But yeah, I guess we'll just draw draw on the Fighting Energy and the Muscle Band on the Halucha. We'll Sycamore, getting a fresh new hand. We'll replace that Rough Seas with Fighting Stadium. We didn't draw any more Crushing Hammer. And I guess we can VS Secret for the Sycamore, but we won't do that. Ultra Ball isn't really necessary. Team Flare going could remove an energy from Evil Tall in the future. But I guess we'll just do Flying Press for a hundred damage. That is why Halucha is so powerful, everyone. <coughs> Sorry. Flying Press does so much damage if used correctly. Now, he does decide to put a DCE on, as expected. He played N again. This is why I don't like playing in the BCR format, playing an XY deck, because you don't have to worry about N in the XY on format. Now, let's see. Let's think about this. So he has a hundred damage. Okay, that's a KO, as expected. So Lucario EX is missile jab. Not affected by resistance. That's the beauty of it. I know what we can do. So wait. Oh we're, we're timed on the new Pokemon. So we'll send in Lucario. 
Now, here's the best part. Here's what we'll do. I guess we'll lay down both Lucarios, because why not? We'll put a strong energy on Lucario. So right now, Missile Jab, because it does not affect resistance. There's 50, leaving Evil Tall at 150. Fighting Stadium does knock it out. But for the lulls, we'll grab Muscle Man too. So, I don't think we have any... Yeah, we, uh... I guess our last Holucha is prized. So, we'll go for the Muscle Man. I would say that's a perfect knockout, but it's it's not it's not a perfect knockout. It is 20 damage over a perfect knockout. So yeah, we'll missile jab for the knockout. It's pretty it's pretty fair knockout. So we ah oh man, we got another ultra ball and it okay. That's not what we needed. Three ultra balls in our hand. He better play an N again. So he does bring up that baby evil tall, allowing him to recycle energy back on his Pokemon. I guess that Genesect is used for attack. But to red signal, that must mean that must mean that like he's playing attack of like two plasma energy. Seems kind of odd for an evil tall deck. So yes, he does oblivion wing energy. He's probably on evil tall. We do pull a sycamore. Now the question is whether to discard all these ultra balls or not. I'm guessing we should because I mean there's really no use for him. So we'll put a fighting energy on Lucario. We'll sycamore out away the three golden ultra balls. Uh, <laughs> Now, if I know we pulled two strong energies, I wouldn't have attached a fighting energy right then. But I did not. So, let's see. Could we knock this thing out? We got 60 damage from Corpse Tree Smash. We have the Muscle Band and the Strong Energy. That's 100 damage. Plus the Fighting Stadium. Minus the Resistance. So, that's not going to be knocking it out, unfortunately. I guess we could Missile Jab. Because I'd be doing the same amount of no, that'd be doing, that'd be doing 20 less, actually. I guess we'll just, yeah, Corkscrew Smash. Yeah, sure. Corkscrew Smash for 80. We will be knocking it out next turn. Now, Darkrai does provide Evil Tall free retreat. Let's see how much Evil Tall will be doing. If he does choose to attack next turn, so, because he can retreat and bring in Evil Tall, so Evil Tall will be doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. That will be 10 short of knocking it out. Yes. Unless they pull a muscle band and attach it to Evil Tall EX. We will be living. By 10 health. Unless they decide to switch into Evil Tall. Now we do manage to pull a Lysander. We could score a free knockout on the Darkrai. Oh, okay. So he plays it safe. Attaches another energy to Evil Tall. Now I'm scared of that Evil Tall. Because he's going to do a lot of damage. I guess we'll just Crushing Hammer to limit its power, power for now. I always roll Tails on a Crushing Hammer. What is wrong with this? But, alright. So, we already have Fighting Stadium up. Deciding who to Lysander to. We could pull up the Dark Rider main Netric. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I Actually, it sort of matters. Dark Rider provides free retreat. It does have 10 more HP, however. So, let's see. Corkscrew Smash is going to do 60 plus the Muscle Band. That is 80 plus the Strong Energy. That is 100. That's going to knock out Darkrai. So I guess we could knock out Darkrai. However, we will be sacrificing our Lucario. Which is why I'm sort of hesitant on doing that. However, I think it's worth it. Because we can just bring in Halucha if we retreat, you know. Yeah. We'll last center out to Darkrai. And we'll Corkscrew Smash for the knockout. Yeah, and then we did refill our hand. We got an Enhanced Hammer and a Crushing Hammer. Just what we need for an Evil Tall EX deck. We can just Crushing Hammer. Oh, and a Team Flare Grunt. Perfect. That's all we need. Actually, let me take that back. Oh, great. We did get a VS Seeker. I wasn't expecting that. We can VS Seeker for the Lysander. If we top deck and enter... He's going to knock us out. It, 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 it's kind of an obvious. He's going to knock us out with this attack. We, we should and we probably will... VS Seeker for the Lysander. We'll send in Halucha. We'll get that DCE off the Evil Saw. We top deck another VS Seeker. Not really necessary. Yeah, we'll just discard the DCE for now. Come on, flip heads. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, finally. We flip heads on the Crushing Hammer. So, yeah, this disruption really coming in handy for us now. Now, we could Lysander something out. However, we wouldn't be attacking this turn. Yeah. Honestly, we could VS Seeker for the Lysander now. 
And then it's just Birch's observation. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll get the Lysander. Oops, sorry about that. We will Birch's observations. Birch's observation. There we go. Strong that oops, I, I mean to click that. Uh I don't know. Should we go Lucario or Holusha? Holusha's gonna dish out more damage while only, give, only giving them one prize. Yeah, we, we'll go Holusha. And then we'll attach uh, Fighting Energy next turn. Well, Professor's Letter for two more Fighting Energy. Uh, j just because, I guess. And then we will... Oh, look at all the Fighting Energy. Look at that. Look at that. We'll Flying Press for... A hundred. That's right. We are Flying Press for a hundred. If Evil Tall... Even if he can... Let's see. Evil Ball does 20. Okay, so we attach another energy. That's okay. Yeah, I was just calculating. I just figured that out. So that will be a knockout there. See so what we top deck. Oh, great. Another fighting energy. Oh, geez. Is this going to knock out? Missile Jab does 30, 50. That's not. Oh, geez. This is really close. This is this is the prize war right here. We'll attach Lucario. If we can survive another turn, we will win. This is a really close game, everyone. Missile Jab will do 50, I believe. Yeah. Leaving him 20 away from getting knocked out. I think I have game here. Because unless he, like, does some gimmick like Plasma Energy on the Genesect, and then, I don't know. Some shenanigans like that. Does put another Evil Tall down. He might, he might play it safe and switch out. Which, in that case... Okay, yeah, he, he retreated. He retreated. He's playing it safe now. So, okay. All right. This is interesting. We just topped like the Silent Lab. How beneficial will that be? That will, that will block off the red signal, which... No, but that will also negate the Fighting Stadium. That's not really necessary, though, because... Evil Tall is on the brink of dying. But now, look, now he's powering up the other Evil Tall. What do we do now? I know what we should do. Here, let's play... Ah. Hesitant whether to play the Silent Lab or not. Yeah, we'll play the Silent Lab. In case he pulls any shenanigans with the red signal. We'll Ultra Ball away the two energies and then not get anything. Just to get, I mean, more cards from that Corkscrew Smash. God, this is so close. Yeah, we're just gonna pass that. Attach energy to Lucario. This should be a knockout, is it not? 60. Do I have strong energy? God, this isn't even a knockout. I should've left Fighting Stadium! Guys, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Cork Smash Smashes. Actually, that's sort of good. That is sort of good. Oh, he surrendered! He surrendered! Because you know why? That would have been good. Because if I corkscrewed Smash for 60, that will take into effect the Fighting Resistance, leaving him with 10 health left. And then by then, I probably... I, I would have refilled my hand up to 6. And then, I would have probably got a VS Seeker or something, or maybe a Lysander to Lysander him out. But I guess he just surrendered there. He probably actually could have turned this around. He just figured because I could have corkscrew smash, got six cards in my hand, and I, I mean, he just surrendered. That was completely unexpected. But yeah, this pretty much shows you the, the potential of Lucario EX. Hopefully with the new sets coming out, like Ancient Origins, that new, what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to think here. Uh, the break, the red break and the blue break in Japan. I hope new cards coming out will help support this deck. I do think it's a really strong deck, which is why I have it as the first deck analysis video. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to comment, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. To get more awesome videos like this, I will be continuing this series. I'm thinking about doing a Waylord deck analysis for XY on. All my decks will be XY on, so Waylord will be coming up. Don't, don't worry, you guys. And uh, yeah, see you next video.